welcome to the third topic super mesh analysis in network theory a super mesh constitutes of two adjacent loops with a common current source for them to solve such a problem we can't write ordinary mesh equations instead we will write two equations the first one being mesh equation for the outer loop that is in this case v minus i1 r1 minus i2 r3 equal to 0 the second one will be that of the current source here i is in the same direction of i2 hence the equation will be i2 minus i1 is equal to i where i is the value of the current source So now let's do a problem based on this concept. Determine the current in 5 ohm resistor in the network. So you can see that there are 3 meshes and a current source common to mesh 2 and 3. So we write equation for mesh 1 and then the outer loop equation for mesh 2 and 3 and then finally that of the current source. So we have 3 equations to solve for 3 unknown variables. So for mesh 1 that is A, B, G, E, F the equation is 50 minus 10 I1 minus I2 minus 5 I1 minus I3 is equal to 0. Then let us write the equation for 2 and 3 meshes combined. So that will be minus 2 I2 minus I3 minus 5 I3 minus I1 minus 10 I2 minus I1 is equal to 0. Now rearrange that equation to get equation number 2. Next we have to consider the current source. The current source is common to both mesh 2 and 3. So the currents flowing there are I2 and I3. So the equation will be I2 minus I3 is equal to 2 ampere. 2 ampere and I2 are in the same direction. So that is why we are writing the equation as I2 minus I3. So this is equation 2 and this is equation 3. So we can use either calculator or Cramer's rule in order to solve the three equations and we will get I1, I2 and I3. Next, we have to find the current through the 5 ohm resistor. Through 5 ohm resistor, two types of currents are flowing, I1 and I3, which are in opposite direction. So, it will be the difference between the two. So, I1 minus I3 is equal to 4.6. 